Hi, Tiger fans. This is Colleen Hauk, and today I'm going to be doing a video for you on the top 10 things you will see in my novella uh, in the Tiger series called Tiger's Promise. So let's get started with number one. The first thing you're going to see in my novella, Tiger's Promise, is the character Yesubai. So here is uh, one idea of what Yesubai might look like. Um, Yesubai is actually featured in the prologue of Tiger's Curse, and she was engaged to marry Ren, my hero in the story. And she, she is actually the daughter of my villain, um, the evil magician, Alokesh, who tries to ruin everything for my heroes. <laughs> um, beautiful Indian girl. So this is kind of one version of her. Um, my sister sent me another version, which I'll show you. And um, real pretty, gorgeous doll. She's just so beautiful. Anyway, um, so the doll, her, my sister's mother-in-law actually does makes dolls. Um, and so she switched out her eyes. Yesubai has lavender eyes, really pretty. And the kind of lavender is the theme of the book. On the cover of the book, you'll see there's, um, uh, this is Yesubai on the front. And just to tell you a little bit about the cover, the cover actually features her looking into the water. So she's kind of upside down uh, on the cover. We did that on purpose. So if you turn it like this way, you can see what she actually looks like. Um, and we wanted to do a reflection because we wanted to show um, that not all is as it seems in this story. So um, so there's Yesubai, my beautiful Indian princess, and uh, she's the heroine of the book. The number two thing you're going to see in Tiger's Promise is um, actually a flower garden, flowers. Yesubai, um, there's a lot of comparisons to Yesubai and flowers and how she feels like she's trapped, like she's a flower growing uh, up a wall that has been slowly dying. And um, that imagery is used frequently in the book. And so you'll see a lot of flowers in the book and references to flowers and gardens. Um, and more specifically, you're going to also see water lilies, which I'll show you my little uh, water lilies that I have. So I have this one that's purple, really pretty. And then I have this one that really super matches the book. You can kind of see, see the, the matchy there. Um, so water lilies are kind of important in the book. And um, uh, they're kind of a symbol for her and what, what she ends up being. She's kind of like a water lily. And uh, she grows up and then she kind of gets smothered. And um, those of you who are fans of my series um, might have read Tiger's Voyage when um, Durga talks to Kelsey about the water lily and how it grows up out of the mud and it has to stretch really, really high and far to break free and to get the sunshine, but its roots are in the, in the mud. And I wanted that to be a symbol of Yesubai because her roots are bad. <laughs> her roots are from her father who's evil and cruel and awful and uh, basically raped her mother so that she was born and killed her mother, uh, Yuvakshi, when uh, when Yesubai was born because he wanted a son instead of a daughter. So I wanted to show that Yesubai, her roots came from something terrible, but yet she was a beautiful girl and beautiful flower that grew out of that somehow. And she, 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 she exceeded uh, her origins. So I wanted that to kind of be a symbol for Yesubai. So that's what you'll see in uh, Tiger's Promise. Okay, and the number three thing you're gonna see in Tiger's Promise are veils. And um, so I want to show you a couple of my veils. And again, the veil is very symbolic of Yesubai. Um, I wanted to show uh, when she wore veils how she used them as masks, how she would hide herself and her true feelings away from her father uh, by using veils, and that he often actually required her to use veils in certain ways. So um, I took that cultural thing of using veils and I turned it into uh, kind of a symbolic, um, kind of a mask for her so that she could hide behind them, but also that she could get some distance between herself and all the things that were bad in her life. This is a really cool veil. This is actually a Tiger's Destiny one. You can kind of see it. It's really super cool. It was, oh, it's upside down. This was made by my um, Brazilian publisher, um, and they gave these out as swag. So kind of cool, huh, to get a, you can kind of see the, the name there 
on the bottom. So that's a Tiger's Destiny veil. Super fun. Um, and we also have a veil in the Tiger series, other than with Yesubai, of course. So for those of you who have read, you know that I have a one of my gifts of Durga was uh, a veil, which is very important in the series. This is one of my favorite ones. It's blue. Gorgeous. It's got tassels on the end. So this one's one of my favorite veils. I love this one. I don't wear veils as often or scarves as often as I like, but I really, really like this one. So super pretty. Kind of reminds me of Ren and his eyes. And then this one goes with my India costume. I actually ordered one from India, and it doesn't really fit me. The, the, the outfit doesn't really fit me anymore. And this is super long and super heavy. So this one goes, this one actually can go all the way around. It's got on the actual outfit, you can attach it to the back of your dress, and it'll hang down the back of your dress. So it's super cool. Um, and you might see that I'm even wearing uh, flowers on my shirt today. So this is part of my Tiger's Promise Tour wardrobe. So um, if you come to my events, you might notice that when I'm promoting a certain book, I tend to wear the colors of that book. Uh, so when I was on my Tiger's Promise Tour, I had a lot of purples and pinks and flowery kind of shirts like that that matched. So, so veils, that's your number three. And number four, in Tiger's Promise, you're also going to see these beautiful uh, India Indian um, fortresses um, where one of them is where uh, Ren and Kishan's parents live, and then the other one is uh, a rich um, Raja where Yesubai and her father visit. And this is a man that uh, Yesubai's father works for, and he's risen up in the ranks, uh, and his goal is to try to actually take over. Uh, this kingdom. Um, one of the things I incorporated was elephants. Elephants are big in India. I didn't really have a lot about them in the Tiger series until I hit Tiger's Promise. And even then you don't see much of them, but there are some stories about uh, the elephant and how they were uh, both revered and abused uh, for quite some time. Um, this one's gorgeous and then he's got this pretty gold, gold on there, but I love I love elephants. I love the imagery of it. So um, on the fortress where Yesubai and her father are going to the party, in the book, you'll see these gates um, that are are flanked. I don't know how, if that's the right word, but uh, they've got a, on the gate, you have a big elephant kind of sitting on both sides as a guardian to the entryway. And then later on, you also have another entryway that has tigers. And I wanted that to represent Ren and Kishan's tiger form. So that shows up in... Uh, Tiger's Promise. Uh, number five thing you're going to see in Tiger's Promise is you're going to re meet Deshen, who is Ren and Kishan's mom. And Deshen is beautiful. She's this gorgeous, gorgeous lady um, who, uh, so Ren and Kishan have mixed parentage. So their father is an Indian prince and mom comes from Tibet. So they learned their fighting skills actually, well, they're, they're like ninja fighting skills <laughs> kind of from their mom. And so she has some serious fighting skills and you get to see that a little bit in this book. She spars a little bit with Kishan and with Mr. Kadam, which is fun. Well, that was a fun thing for me to write, fun thing to see. I love her. I would love to do a whole story on her. I think she's amazing. Um, and her story, you know, one thing that I really liked about her was depicting her with Kishan and how he he had a special relationship with his mom. And um, so, yes, so Deshen, you're going to see her in, in the book. And for those of you who have read my other books, you'll know that. Uh, the yacht that is featured in Tiger's Voyage is called the Deshen after their mother. And number six is Mr. Kadam. This um, <laughs> this action figure is like, I think he's from the G.I. Joe collection, <laughs> but he kind of looks like how I imagine Mr. Kadam to be only not so white. Um, he's got the beard kind of a thing. So Mr. Kadam kind of has this really cool looking goatee kind of beard thing going and short hair. And uh, Mr. Kadam is a serious fighter. So this is kind of Mr. Kadam future version. 
um, where he's in battle gear and he's got all this cool tech that he can do do things with. Um, but back in Tiger's Promise, he was actually a man at arms for Ren and Kishan and for the Rajaram family. And um, he was the guy who was in charge of the military and keeping everything running well. And so you get to see him in that mode uh, in Tiger's Promise. And uh, you get to see him sparring with Deshen, which is kind of nice. So anyway, Mr. Kanam is somebody you will see in Tiger's Promise. Okay, and number seven. In Tiger's Promise, you're going to see my boys my Ren and Kishan, and uh, you can decide which one is which. Uh, I have a hard time telling them apart. They look a little twinsy here uh, in my action figures. So Ren and Kishan are in Tiger's Promise. Ren gets engaged to Yasubai, uh, but Kishan meets her first, actually, which you find out, a little sad. Uh, and Kishan falls for her first, but Ren is the one who is the eldest brother, and he gets engaged to Yesubai, but Kishan loves her, so um, you get to see what happens there. Um, you get a nice little bonus scene from Ren in Tiger's Promise where he, um, his first feelings about Yesubai the first time he meets her, so that's kind of fun. So you get to see my guys, of course, they're, they're men full time in Tiger's Promise. There are no tigers, not yet. They haven't changed into tigers, uh, not right until the very, very end of the book. So there you go, Ren and Kishan, number seven. And number eight is the medallion. Um, my medallion actually at the point of the book in Tiger's Promise it has been split into five pieces. Um, and Ren has one piece that he wears and Kishan has another piece that he wears. And you will find out later, Lakesh has the other three and he's acquired those by nefarious means. And each piece contains a power. Um, Ren's and Kishan's are both different powers. Um, so there you go. Number nine, you can't have a book without a villain. So Lokesh obviously makes an appearance. And Lokesh is a man who's lived a long, long time. He also, interestingly enough, has mixed heritage. His father is Chinese and his mother is Indian, uh, was a slave. And he was born illegitimately and wanted to rise up to take over his father's kingdom. Um, so he had a lot of ambition. His father owned a piece of the amulet. And uh, so that was his first exposure to it. And he started looking for the other pieces. So when he was a young boy, he uh, became very, started becoming very ambitious, first to gain his father's approval and then to defeat his father. So that's kind of Lakesh's backstory. So you learn a little bit more about him in Tiger's Promise. And number 10, and this one's a little surprising, um, in Tiger's Promise at the very end, and the sad thing is, um, if you've read Tiger's Curse first, you know how Yesubai's story ends, and it's not a good, happy ending for her. Um, but what you don't know in Tiger's Promise is what happens to her in the moments of time right before she dies. Um, and there's a special time uh, right as she's uh, dying that the goddess Durga appears and she shows up and uh, you can kind of see her. This is one of my painted versions. You don't usually see her with a black tiger. So we painted this one. Um, but you see the goddess Durga show up and uh, talk to Yesubai a little bit before she dies. And there's a lot of telling information in there that if you're a fan of the series, you definitely don't want to miss um, some important information, important details. Uh, there that are clues for the future, and, um, especially where Tiger's Dream is concerned. Tiger's Dream being the fifth book in the series and the final book in the series. So, um, so there you have it. Those are my top 10 things that you're going to see in Tiger's Promise. So if you uh, have read the series and you're waiting desperately for Tiger's Dream, go pick this one up because this one and the and the actual book book that you can print has a whole bunch of bonus things in it. Like it's got the uh, prologue for Tiger's Dream in it. It's got a whole scene from Yuvakshi's perspective, which is Yesubai's mom, how she ended up with Lokesh and what happened there. And then a whole bonus uh, chapter from Ren's perspective when he first meets Yesubai. So there's some fun things in here, things you do not want to miss. And uh, I think you guys will like it. It's really a fun, really good book. And I think you'll identify with my heroine, uh, Yes to Buy, quite a bit. All right. Well, thanks for watching, readers, and have a great day. Bye-bye.